Hello. Go away. Tell me about the curse. Two days ago, someone stole the cosmic spirit from the altar. It shouldn't have been disturbed. Now, no one will be spared. Where's the rest of your tribe? Some men wearing ties showed up. We signed some papers, and they gave us credit cards. I'm the only one who stayed with the spirits of our ancestors. Do you know Dr. Blanche? Dr. Blanche is a good man. He gave me some chocolate. For two days, Dr. Blanche's patients have been having visions. Do you think it's because your stone is missing? Did you think the cosmic spirit would forgive such an offense? Everyone will pay for their ignorance. The end is near. You're asleep. You have a very vibrant and dynamic subconscious. What is bothering you? The souls of my people have been angered. No one has made any sacrifices to them. And now the meek box ruling spirit, the cosmic spirit, is missing. My people and I are in great grief. Satisfaction helped us during our years of starvation. The spirit of beauty made us pretty. The spirit of war made us brave. I can see that you have a strong spirit. And you're a good person. I'll help you by sharing my knowledge with you. Now you know the basics of my tribe's spiritual power. It will help you do things you couldn't before. Our teeth made our teeth strong. It's the meteorite where the cosmic spirit lives. Get it? It's flying away. Are you sure you want to finish what you started? Mark is gone, and he's never coming back. Where are we? This is the city where the Meek Mok went to live. The city is devouring my people. Cities have destroyed nature and all that is pure. Cars make lots of noise and make cities smell bad. And you can't escape from them. They're everywhere. There is lots of crime and evil in cities. Go to the city and be with your people. The city won't eat you. There is plenty of space for everyone. This is the first time I've met someone with such great power. We need to find the cosmic spirit and return him to the altar. Can you do that? Trust me. I'll find the cosmic spirit. Go visit the artist. She knows something. The scary skeleton has reappeared. What's happening, Maya? I'm scared. It looks like some sort of mental virus. Paranoia can infect people like the flu, but I can cure this, so please, don't worry. Do you know anything about the Meekmok's ruling god, known as the Cosmic Spirit? 
I think it was a sort of a meteorite, and now it's missing, and the medicine woman says we're all going to die. Who do you think could have taken it? I don't know. I certainly don't need it. Did Dr. Blanche have any conflicts with any of his patients? No, but he had lots of conversations with Einbach. That professor's really funny. And he looks like Einstein. What's troubling you? We're all going to die. Why do we torture ourselves by living, when we can die at any time? There's no point in living, because we're all going to die anyway. And this is my grave. Isn't it nice? What happened? Where's my grave? It launched into space. Why? Because we're not going to die. Let's snore happily together. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It was a mistake to give them the money, but I had to. Mark said that the experiment would change the world. Victor York was in your subconscious again. He said he gave Dr. Blanche some money for some experiment. Do you know anything about that? I remember hearing something about it, but I really don't remember. You'd better ask Victor. Why didn't you tell me about the experiment? What experiment? The experiment that you gave Dr. Blanche the money for. Ah, you mean the two million dollars. Two million dollars? Dr. Blanche said there was a chance of winning a Nobel Prize, so I gave him the money. So you just gave away two million dollars and didn't think twice about it? Well, I am a multi-millionaire. What's troubling you? I've got everything. A huge home, a yacht, a wife and kids, everyone admires me. They all think that my life is great, but I feel terrible. I feel like I'm already dead. I'm sitting in a cryogenic chamber, up to my ears in liquid nitrogen. Maybe they'll revive me in 500 years, with a cure for my disease, but no one revives me. It looks like you're suffering from the fact that you have everything. Look around you. <laughs> Go home and start helping other people. When you focus on others, everything will be all right. Understand? Yes. Thank you. The professor who looks like Einstein, did he take part in the experiments? Yes, he helped Dr. Blanche. I think he was coming up with different formulas and maybe he got the mice for the experiments. Victor, you should have told me all this the first time I spoke with you. The patients are all going insane and you are trying to fool me. That's not nice. Do you think this is all a result of the experiment? Do you think this is happening for no reason at all? I'll go look for the professor. Hi, Professor Einbach. Hey, it's our new doctor. Nice to see you. I feel great. Why are you dilly-dallying in front of the gate? Open it. I forgot the code. It was only four digits, and I forgot it. I'll help you remember. Now, I'll just hypnotize you. Nine, stop. I don't want to be hypnotized. You're not here. Nine, stop. I am here. No, you're not here. This isn't happening. You're entering a dream. Yeah, 
Ja, Atrim. In a little while, you'll be gone. Gone to your subconscious. I can see everything that you see. You're asleep. Now you'll remember the code to the gate. <coughs> what are these designs of? It all started with the Mi'kmaq's meteorite. It's releasing a special radiation that influences the brain's neurons. We took it from its altar in the middle of the night and started studying it. We came up with a number of experiments. We came up with a way to influence people's brains from a distance using the meteorite. We borrowed two million dollars and bought a bunch of equipment. And I managed to borrow 50 experimental mice from the university. We irradiated the mice, and the result was astonishing. The mice became intelligent and happy. The Nobel Prize was there for the taking. So what happened? Mark disappeared without a trace, and everyone started having these strange and terrifying visions. Lots of people have totally forgotten true happiness, love, and laughter. Mark? It's possible to reteach everyone what they've forgotten and I think I found a good way to do it. The meteorite's radiation was devilishly positive. It created a feeling of love, harmony, total oneness with the world, without any chemicals or addictions. But sometimes the effect would be the complete opposite. Maya, the apocalypse will begin right here at Find Your Way. the combination to the gate. Did anyone else know about the experiment? Just one of the patients, Mohan Singh. He's a computer whiz. He assembled a device to irradiate the mice. Where does he live? I'm Maya. I'm your new doctor. What? Can't you see I'm writing code? Professor Einbach said that you assisted with the experiment. What exactly did you do? Mark asked me to write a program that duplicated the meteorite's radiation. I wrote the program, and Dr. Blanche and Professor Einbach trained the mice. Where did the experiment take place? Right here in the laboratory. What is that antenna for? That's for my hobby. I study cosmic radiation. Looking for alien signals? I'm looking for ordered signals in the radiation. Something indicative of intelligent life. Why do you think the patients are having these nightmarish visions? I'm not bothered by any nightmares. When I'm writing code, nothing bothers me, except you, because you're preventing me from writing code.